here's an application that's pretty cool. Um, I just got it. Um, just. It's called lock screen or something. Where is it? Lockbot Frey. So Lockbot gives you like four themes. Um, it gives you a lock like the uh, the droid, and one like the iPhone, and then the hero and the. There's another one too. I deleted because um, I didn't like them, but it gives you four of them, and then like you could um, edit them. So then, like this one, uh, you could change the background. It'll pull up your, um, you know, you could pull pictures off any any of those. And then, um, you know, you could edit them, basic stuff. Anyway, so then when you, um, so like, say you're in, uh, and then you could also set a playlist too. So like, I'm going to close my phone. And then um, this one will come up, okay? And then the next time I do it, the iPhone one will come up. And it should be random. So I don't know, oh, there's that one girl. And that's pretty cool, I think. The developers of uh, Panda also came out with a lock. I'll show it to you. It's, uh, it's, it's running a beta version right now, but it's gonna be, um, it's going to be out. I think the official version is out in like three days. Anyway, you go to um, go to add. First, you download it in the market. It's, it's Panda lock screen, iPhone lock screen. You can find it. It's easy. Um, go to Home Assistant, and they just added this like lock screen down there. And then you click on that, and I'll show it to you. It's not uh, it's not great, not yet. Anyway, but we'll see in a few days. Um, that's it. It doesn't make that click sound, but you know that the official yeah, version just might got be uh, recently, which is really cool. I think uh, you get it in the market under um, uh, mobile defense. Uh, by Neva. Here's a description of what it does. Um, it, I can't really show you on my phone because it hides itself, but um, it doesn't truly hide itself unless the phone is rooted, which I, I don't know how to do. I'm not going to do it, but um, if you root it, you can install it as a system app, and then if someone steals it, there, there's no way that they can um, shut it off or uninstall it. And if you have um, if you have that installed as a, system, as a system app, you can activate the GPS on it and get like the exact location. And I've tried it. Um, with my GPS running and it goes like it'll show it right in front of my house like it's dead on and without the GPS um, it was like three houses away um, which isn't as good but still a pretty tight app and and this is free until um, February 1st I think so after that you're gonna have to pay for it so <clears throat> you might want to get it now and one common thing like a myth about I have my GPS running um, at all times and my battery lasts it lasts a lot the thing about gps is like the gps isn't gonna kill uh use battery unless um something's calling on it so i have my gps going um and i don't notice any change so what what it does is um you register on the website on that mobile defense website you log in and register and then um w once you put in your number and if you if you do it on the website, it'll activate your GPS just for like like a minute or so until it finds your location. Other than that, it doesn't use your battery. I haven't had any problems with it at all. It's called mobile defense. I would definitely get it in case you lose it or someone steals it. Overall, I like running Panda. Um, I don't know if I like it better than Sense right now, but it's good. I, I like it. There's some advantages to it because like you have the icon dock. And if you change it, like, you know, you got you can uh, view your home screens in, in landscape mode, too. This phone is slow to landscape, but... Um, I 
I mean, that's that's cool. I like that. And also, um, the fact that you could um, kill certain, you know, like you could kill a lot of HCC stuff running in the back because um, because you're not running the HTC sense. Um, I have so much stuff running right now, and, it, and it's running really fast. And I have like a zillion apps on my phone, so you could see how much memory. I have 46 left still. If I killed all these things I'm not using, like, I probably would have like 90, 90 megs there. So, um, I, I think that's a huge advantage. So, I don't know, I would definitely check it out. Peace.